shoes though. I'm ready to give uh, this boy a name. How do you know it's a boy? I think. I think I feel it. Mm -hmm. But it could be a girl. I could be wrong. Oh. You could be totally wrong. So I think it's around 10 p.m. I've been having contractions all morning or all day. It started with like being 15, 20 minutes apart. And now, I mean, still pretty irregular. Around eight, sometimes six minutes apart. And really, but it's getting stronger and stronger. And that's why we've come to the hospital just to get checked. I'm pretty sure, I have a gut feeling that they're gonna send us home because I'm not ready yet, but we're just gonna make sure that things are all right. We'll update you, bye-bye. channel time check right now it's July, i mean 12 37 in the morning it's july 29th and basically july 28th in the morning woke up with some bloody show also if you're grossed out with any like blood or discharge you probably want to just skip the whole video because that's what this is uh, this is what's gonna be about Anyways, so yeah, so I woke up with like some bloody show. I knew that, you know, something was going to happen and I was very crampy. I knew that. I knew that. I, Oh, not you. my husband apparently is claiming that something's gonna happen. So I was very crampy, but you know, it wasn't so bad. Like I would time my contractions and it would be 10 to 15 minutes apart and it was tolerable, like four out of 10. And so I still went to work, um, went on with the day, and the contractions just got worse and worse into the afternoon when I got home, like really bad to the point where it reaches your legs, kind of pain, like eight out of 10, and the contractions were about six to eight minutes apart. Mm -hmm. And so I asked my husband, okay, I think you should call in and ask for a leave because it may happen tonight. And then the contractions like were just irregular so I thought oh, for sure if we go to the hospital they're gonna send us home like for sure and so when we came to the hospital I was actually five centimeters oh they checked me and they said I was five centimeters 90% effaced I don't know what that means but I get that you need to be 10 cm to push or to be ready to be ready to push that's all I know and yeah they gave us fluid they put an IV they gave us fluids um, and then the pain they said getting, baby was excited they yeah. wanted to uh... the baby's heart rate was like 170 and so they wanted to give us fluids just to see if the baby's heart rate would go down yeah and then the pain was just kept going stronger and stronger and stronger i must say like for the women that don't get an epidural like hats off to you all of you because i don't know how you tolerate that pain like like i would rate that pain 20 out of 10 if i can but it's only 10 out of 10 so anyways it's so painful thankfully the anesthesiologist butchered that but that's okay and the one who inserts the epidural came so fast and it worked right away I felt tingling in my legs and some itchiness which was a bit similar to my first one it's scary what the side effects they say could happen like paralysis and whatnot which is slightly uncommon one out of 200 women apparently thousand oh two thousand two hundred thousand oh. oh two hundred thousand so yeah fairly uncommon so which is reassuring but still scary to think about anyways 
Yeah, so now we're settled. I'm glued to the bed and we're just waiting to see what happens. And also, and the funny thing is we've been joking around how, because my due date is four days from now or three days from now, August 1st, civic holiday. We said that, oh, maybe the baby will be born on mom, mom's birthday, my mother-in-law's birthday, which is today. The likelihood of that happening is very likely. I guess very likely, you know, even before today happened. But it was just a joke. Like how I we called joked. it. Yeah, my husband said he called it. Like how we joked around of our firstborn being born on her dad's birthday. Like, what is this? Is this becoming a trend? Like, is our third child, you know, God willing? what going to be born on my birthday or my brother-in-law's birthday or my brother's birthday or our dad's birthdays i have no clue anyways that's the update for now we will let you know what happens next So time check, it's 3.36 in the morning. They just checked me and I'm eight and a half centimeters dilated. But they said that the baby's head is still a bit high. So I have this peanut, peanut thing in between my legs to open up my pelvis so the baby's head could go down. They'll check me again in two hours and hopefully I'll be 10 centimeters and ready to push. So we're gonna get a little bit of rest before that happens and yeah super exciting i'm super excited but also scared at the same time praying that everything goes well wow you're so light-skinned how does it feel to be a to finally have a boy. I have a son. No, you have a son. He's looking at you. You have my son. <laughs> you know that? <laughs> He's like, mm. Mm. You think about it. Yeah. Let's talk about it later. <laughs>